Hello everyone. Today we're going to be making a soap called Chunky Monkey. And I did a little bit of prep before I started. I used this Crafter's Choice, the rectangle mold. And I um, poured like a half of a bar and I used green and purple, yellow and pink. And then when I was done, I took and used a peeler just to peel off around the sides and made some curls. That's going to go on the top. And then I took and cut the rest of them up in little chunks. So um, we're going to get started here. I also took and melted my base. And I used some of the Crafter's Choice Shimmering White Clouds Mica. And I'm going to go ahead and pour that into my white just to give it just a little bit of shimmer. I hope you can see this okay. And um, I'm mixing it in. And then I'm going to add my fragrance. And I'm using the Crafter's Choice banana coconut. It smells really good. So we're going to take and mix that in real good. Add a teeny bit of a yellow tint to it, but it was mostly white, so I'm hoping this will stay really white for us. Mm, smells good. So we're going to take a so we're going to take our Crafter's Choice mold. It's a small loaf mold. It's um, 1504 if you wanted to order it. And I'm going to take and pour a thin layer in the bottom. We'll go ahead and spritz it with alcohol. And then I have this mold here, the bowl here, I'm sorry. And I'm going to take and pour all my cubes into it. So they get mixed up the colors. So we'll just mix them up a little bit. And I think we'll put the shreds on this side. And as soon as this sets up a little, we will start putting these in and layering it. Okay, this is set up, so we're going to go ahead and spritz it. I hope my soap will be okay. It's cold out here tonight. And then we're going to spritz our chunks also. Just going to drop them in there. and I'm going to put another layer of soap. You want to make sure your soap isn't too hot so it melts your embeds. Pour another layer of soap so it goes in between everything. Just continue until we've used all of them. Just spit 
just in there. Um, let's do more yellow. Okay, I think I'm going to leave a little bit of room because I wanted to put some embeds in. The first one will go there, the second, and the third. Spritz it again. I don't want to take that green one out. Those bottles spilling. pour the rest. Okay, we're going to go ahead and spritz it. We're going to let it set just a couple minutes and then we will put our little curls on the top and our embeds. I just spritz these in the bowl. And um, I don't know if it's too hot. I think it'll be okay. Make sure we cover it all, and some might come off that's not stuck to the soap. Okay, and then I have these little monkeys, so I'm going to put the first one right here. I'm going to put this one in the back. Maybe one about there. No, it's not staying. Got one there. Stick one in there. They should be about even when I cut them. Does it have a little bit of soap on it? So we have everything in there. We're going to take and add a little glitter to the sides. Okay, so we're done with this, so we're going to let it set up, and then I will be back to cut it. Our soap is set up, so we're going to go ahead and try to cut it. Um, let me see if you can see it better this way. It's really cute. Smells good. And I think I'm going to try and just use my knife. 
I kind of put little score marks in there. We're going to lose some of our curls. You can actually just melt a little bit of melt and pour and put them back on if you want. And it might have some little holes from where the cubes were. And you can fix that too. What I do is I take a melt a little bit of melt and pour, take a pipe it, and just fill them in. We'll see how the inside is. Losing a couple. I'm deciding which soap cutter to get because melt and pour is a little bit harder to cut. And I have four cutters, but they all ended up kind of being the same. Never really get a real good straight cut. So I think I'll sell the four and get myself one new one. Probably already cut crooked. And some curls. We might want to save them. We might want to put them on the top. Okay. I feel like it's going crooked on me. It did. Inside is really colorful, and we didn't seem to get any gaps in there. This is the back side. And most of our curls stayed on the top. here. And these are the final bars, so I need a little cleaning up. I kind of pulled that one. I need to fix it. Okay, there you have it. This is our Chunky Monkey. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe.